My name is Mike King and I farm here at Kingsmall Holsteins with my brother Chris. We have 735 cows and are farming approximately 1430 acres. We also rear our own young stock and we've been a closed herd now for approximately 15 years. Uh, we're high yielding and, and supply most uh, expenses We've been, um, the, we've been here on the farm, at Two Pools Farm and Landside Farm for 25 years and but started milking cows uh, in 1990 at the old, old holding. Uh, we're currently milking uh, pedigree Holsteins and they are high yielding uh, approximately 13,400 litres and we're milking three times a day. I applied to join the sector council because I thought at the time that the system that we're, we are using on farm, the high yielding system, was underrepresented. And uh, rather than sit back and look, wait for others to take up the mantle or say that this, the system's being underrepresented, I thought the best thing to do was actually do something about it, join council, and hopefully make a difference and put the uh, high yielding uh, housed on, and grazing, because we graze as well. So, um, point of view across. My views of AHDB before joining council were quite a bit different from the one the view I have now um, since having been there only for we've only had two meetings but it's been a, a, a number of months now and my view was that probably they, we didn't get much value as uh, for the levy from our for our, what we do when you know so we're not using the, um, some of the stuff to more to geared around spring and block calving because we're an all year round calving herd and um, we were probably not aware of what uh, HPB did so my, my views were that they didn't probably represent it as well as we could but since joining I have noticed that actually a lot of the information that's out there in the public domain which other people claim to be their information is actually AHDB's information and actually it's one of the things that we uh, seem to take for granted, uh, particularly along the lines of the genetics and the market strategic um, market information on sales and milk and everything. So those sort of things we don't know, but everybody everybody gets the data from HDB. So uh, with the shape the future vote, vote on what the levy pairs are told HDB, um, it was actually quite a, it was quite a level. Uh, although it's slightly stacked more way towards uh, marketing and brand branding and protection of what we do as dairy farmers. Um, so you know, obviously the the emphasis and work that HDB got to do in the future is very much around that, uh, but not neglecting uh, the other people who voted towards more of the work that HDB had already currently undertaking, perhaps to maybe fine tune that a little. So then the next steps since the uh, initial two meetings is actually looking at those budgets, making sure that farmers get really good value for their levy payment uh, and that that's directed in the areas that shape the future vote, um, sort of directed the, you know, you know, directed the council to do so. So I, I think that uh, that's very important and I'm sure that um, the levy payers uh, will notice the change in emphasis over the coming period. So we won the Kareem Awards last year uh, for Zero Lemness Health and Welfare and uh, that's very much focused on the uh, health, and the health and welfare of the cows and that's been a key focus here because health and welfare uh, drives production and drives efficiencies and hopefully drives profit as well. So we had used quite a number of tools that HD had available which helped, and helped us on that uh, goal or that goal of reducing lameness and uh, having positive outcomes on health and welfare. So um, we worked uh, with the Healthy Feet program, uh, with mobility score, uh, we have ROMS mobility scores as well. We also have looked at uh, the some of the work that HDB has been sponsoring through Nottingham regarding healthy um, sort of living space and uh, also the, the comfort indicators as well for cows uh, on a human house system. So approximately two years ago, uh, we went to all sex genomic, genomic semen, uh, 
uh, and beef, so we do not uh, uh, have the plan to have any black and white bull calves on the farm. Uh, we also focus our breeding on the top 30% of the herd to give us our replacement. Um, one of the things that we do do which uses the genetics uh, evaluation that HD boosts by, and that helps us select those, uh, those correct sires for the cows. And also, we're just currently undertaking uh, the start of our genomic testing program on the maiden and bulling heifers. So the biggest challenges uh, we have here on the farm are probably similar to the industry at large, and that is in and around the environmental, so obviously slurry, uh, carbon, methane, uh, we've all got to reduce those and we've got to make better use of slurry. Um, we have still got some work, quite a bit of work to do on that. Obviously it would be very good to get some clear direction from government which has not been very forthcoming yet. Uh, but in the meantime, I think it's quite encouraging now that um, HDB have got a number of strategic farms which are very focusing, very much focusing on the environmental carbon methane side of the debate and hopefully they can use those farms to get the information out to the, uh, the levy payers. So on farm, here, on farm here over the next uh, few weeks we're going to be really focusing in on our new transition uh, ship. Uh, we've just recently uh, completed the building of that and are now calving all uh, the cows on a just-in-time calving system and they're in individual calving pens with mattresses is making sure that that system works really well giving us positive outcomes for the cow and calf health. Yeah, over the last couple of weeks it's been a, quite a challenge here on the farm and because of lack of grass and uh, we haven't actually got any grass to graze at the moment, so uh, the milking herd are back in, uh, being, being supplemented with on our winter ration. And we're very ho much hoping that the rainfall that we've had today and in the, uh, during the coming days will allow us to get back out and get the cow cows to get their grazing days done and enjoy the outdoors as much as we can for the remaining part of this grazing season.